Hi, this is Jonathan Rotz, field agronomist with Pioneer, and today I want to take just a moment to talk with you a little bit about our small grains, but on a forages side. So I'm standing here in a uh, triticale field, looking at um, you know what we're seeing here with all this early growth, uh, you know, decent planting date on these, as well as just a again a mild winter, um, and you know right now really really favorable temperatures for growth. So on our forages, unlike, you know, if we're going to keep something around for grain, not quite as worried about how much we push that vegetative growth. In fact, that's what we want. Um, that's one of the reasons why we plant such heavy rates. And then again, pushing, uh, pushing our early nitrogen rates. Um, however, one of the things though that I will caution on these forages is as we think about putting nitrogen on, we need to remember that when we put that nitrogen on, that nitrogen is going to help that plant grow, but then also as it grows, as that plant consumes that nitrogen, our protein rates will fall. The reason I bring this up when we think about some of this early nitrogen that some guys are thinking about putting out here is that we still need to keep that last nitrogen application within about two to three weeks of harvest. Uh, the closer we pull that to harvest, the higher that nitrogen will boost that protein level and not just turn into you know structural carbohydrates and everything else that it can get converted into. So thinking about that end, end goal of nitrogen as well. The other major thing to keep an eye on with small grains right now, similar to uh, our grain side for our forage small grains, are these winter annuals. Again, you know, really mild temperatures. Um, soil temps today are actually around 40 degrees and, and climbing. We have some really good conditions to have some of these winter annuals really start to grow fast. And again, even though we maybe don't think about it all the time, uh, some of our winter annuals, especially things like chickweed and stuff, do significantly hinder our yield in our small grain forages. Manure usage is also a huge part of these uh, small grain forages because we obviously have a lot of manure to use on our dairy farms. And it's one of the reasons these have gotten so popular is the amount of uh, nutrition that we can actually cycle off of that acre. The only thing to watch out on manure usage is obviously the, the thickness of it and how heavy we're putting it down. We don't want to create such a blanket that we're going to really hinder this stand. So trying to, uh, you know, if you have a thinner manure available or just uh, using lower rates that are going to still allow that, um, that small grain to really be able to push through and not have a blanket of manure, obviously. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Again, if you ever have any questions on this or other agronomic topics, feel, out, feel free to reach out to your local Pioneer sales rep or myself. And thanks for utilizing Pioneer products, and I hope you have a great growing season. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.